What's up, beautiful people? If you haven't already gotten your 2019 planner together like I have, then time is running out. Of course, I know what I'm going to put together, but I just wait till the last minute to put it together so I can just really enjoy it. So while I'm putting together my planner for 2019, I'm also going to do a look at a leather that I actually love. Now, several people that I follow have already done some reviews on them, but this is a leather by Hand Stitch Leather Tee. This is a fabulous leather, fabulous leather, and I'm going to wrap it around my Hobonichi. So let's take a look at the leather just so you can see what it looks like here. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> so this is a A5 size. And it's pretty simple on the front and the back, not too much there. But I did want to try this pocket because this is the very first pocket I've ever gotten on a leather. And I wanted to see how it's going to work. I'll probably put some pens in there or I'll probably put some something else that would fit inside of that pocket. I don't know. We'll see what happens yet. <clears throat> but when you open it up. This is what it looks like. So this is a nice little folio. I'm going to be using both sides of it to slide my notebook in there because I like to use both sides and just get it done. I'm only going to put one thing in there, and that's going to be the 2019 A5 Hobonichi Techo. I'm not going to put anything else in there. Sliding it in, there won't be another book in there. What I like uh, about what I did when, when I placed my order was I was able to customize it. I think they have three pockets sitting here. I just wanted one. And then I wanted one over here as well that wasn't necessarily fully up there, just in case I had something a little bit longer. I don't mind carrying something that's a little bit longer. But you've heard some reviews on it. I'll tell you, Mitz did a nice review. Pretty much almost everything that she said, I also noticed about it. It's extremely smooth. So I think this is like a handbag. Like you definitely want to touch all over it. But not only is it smooth, it's also squishy. So I don't know if you can hear that. I mean, that sound, you know, that's just a sound that you're just going to love. If you love leathers, if you love walking around with stuff, this is extremely smooth and very squishy. But also, it's not bulky uh, it's light and not bulky which is important because uh, notice how there's like several pieces of leather there but she've kept it very very thin this is Tanya I believe Tanya from hand stitch leather tea she kept it very very thin so not only is it lightweight but it is also not very bulky which is important because you're going to have other stuff in here. So if you have a book that's bulky, that's not going to be the greatest thing. Um, just a thin, light leather. So let's take a look at it. Okay. Hand stitch leather tee. I like it. I recommend it. Um, she put a little card in. Um, you know, nothing but the leather. So this is the card that she puts in there with it. I think it says, I just want to say thank you for stopping by. She has a logo on the bottom of it. I'm out of frame there. Uh, but check this out. She gives you one of these. Now, I bought two leathers. I not only bought, <clears throat> boy, excuse me, I not, not only bought the A5, but I also bought this size as well. And so I got two of these. I'm already using it, of course. Uh, nice little touch there. Nice smooth leather. I had one of those key holders that I was using. And then I just switched over to that one because I wanted to. All right. We're going to set this up right now and be done with it. It's the 24th of December. And this video is going up today. I'm just going to throw it up there. <clears throat> so let's get this done. All right. This is how I put my book in. I don't know how y'all put your books in, but I don't have time to fiddle with bending over this hard cover. Oh, it's just a nightmare. I think I saw, who did I see doing that last night? I think I saw Humble Chan doing it last night. Look at that, boom, installed. <laughs> Ready to go. I'm so out of frame. I don't even know what is going on with me. All right, so let's set this thing up here. What I'm going to do for the time being 
is I'm not going to put any anything in the front here. I might put something in the front, but I'm not going to put anything in the front. All right. So, got to have a pencil board. I use a lot of fountain pens. And as you're using this thing, as you start putting stuff in it and it starts bulking out, you're going to need something hard to write on. Now, this isn't the one I actually currently use. I use one that's a that's very very plain. Um, but it's a lot thicker than this. But when I do pull that one out of the other one, it's going to go right here. So that slides in there. Done. Ruler. Can't draw a straight line to save my life. Even with a ruler, I can't draw a straight line. <laughs> but we got one anyway. Over here on the front, keep it very, very simple. I use a lot of colors, and I like to look at the color wheel just to kind of play with stuff. But I use a lot of colors in my notebooks. And because I use fountain pens, I always have to have one of these because sometimes I will, sometimes the ink will just gush, especially if, if I'm working with a very wet writer, the ink will just splash all over the place. And whew, my goodness. Well, that's the setup. That's the installation, but now let's look on the inside of it because there's some things that I do on the inside um, just to show you how I actually work with mine. I use this yearly index, uh, this yearly page as an index. So what I do is whenever there's something that is, that's going on uh, on a daily page, so if I put something that's of specific note on a daily page, then right here, I'll just jot that in. And so there's a lot of important things that occurred in 2018, and I have all of those things right here in front of me. So I don't even have to really worry about it because if I want to go back to it, I'm not searching. I mean, can you imagine searching through 300, 400 pages to find something which is what we normally would do indexes are great but not everything I need to index so this isn't completely filled in this just has a lot of information but it only has something that's relevant so that way it's easy it's easy for me to find and most of the time I remember what I'm looking for anyway in a specific month right so I know what I'm doing there okay then I section off um, I section off this section because this is where everything happens these pages are loaded I use these hours I use them uh, religiously like everything is planned out for me uh, from when I'm at work and it's color coded so I'll pop over over the one I'm currently using just to show you everything in it is color coded because that's the way my job is. Whatever meetings I have, they're all color-coded, and then everything I do is color-coded. I guess that's called bullet journaling. I don't know, but that's what I do. Then I tab off this section as well. So I have this portion of it in the front that is is kind of like a summary of what's going on, and, and it's, it's almost like a to-do list. There's some debate that I've had with some, some friends about to-do lists, and I don't really keep a to-do list, and the reason why is because you never get it done. All these things that sit on your to-do list wind up still being to-dos, and they travel over. But I do kind of put it on a monthly, on that first month page, just to see what it looks like. I know I'm using all the wrong terms, but, yeah, whatever. So... Did anybody notice that last year or this year they have lines and next year they have no lines? Did anybody else see that? Anyway, I have that tabbed off so that I can take a look and see what I'm supposed to be doing throughout the month. But then I also have a day tabbed off so that when I'm on that specific day, then I can jot it. And that's the system that I'm using right now. So that's what I go with. So that's my setup. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it actually helped somebody else that's trying to set up theirs. 
I use a very simple system. I don't track a lot only because I'm doing so much throughout the day that I don't have time to track everything that I'm doing. If I'm tracking, then I'm not doing it. <laughs> I might as well be doing it rather than tracking it, right? Anyway, that's it for today. Stick around because uh, as I look up at the top, I got about three boxes. I got an unbox of some nice toys. It takes me a long time to open a box. So sometimes I'll have something for months and I won't have opened it up just because it just takes me a while. Anyway, that's what I do. But I'm going to have some unboxings. They're going to be coming really, really soon here. Anyway, I'm Rob Bourne. Thanks a lot for watching.